typically a fan of mini knives, but every once in a while there's one that strikes my fancy, but this one is a little different. I think that this knife is almost perfect and it's better than the full-size version. Let's look at the Vosteed mini nightshade from above. Guys, we are going to look at what I think is the most perfect version of this knife. This thing is absolutely awesome and it's probably the best mini knife I've ever had come in. So this is the Vosteed Mini Nightshade. And this thing is just about perfect, to tell you the truth. I, I honestly, I don't say that very often, but I absolutely love this knife. I like it better than the full-size version, which I have right here. You can just see that the dimensions on it, significantly smaller, but you don't lose anything. And it's just incredible. Let's get this out of the Talk way. about this. Sorry, I flipped it because I realized there was a really bad reflection off that blade. So this is... A really good knife. Let's get some specs out of the way. And I, I got to tell you, there's so many good things about this knife. So we'll get some specs out of the way. We'll do some size comparison. You always saw it, already saw it compared to the full size. So you're looking at a 6.3 inch overall length with a blade length of 2.6 inches. And that sounds small, but we're going to talk about that here in a minute. Uh, it's done in a leaf style blade with a full flat grind. And I mean a full flat grind that comes down just ridiculously thin behind the edge. It is just an absolute laser. It's in G10. This is the gray G10. Now there's multiple versions and I'm gonna have a purchase link down below. This one is just at $60. So I will have a link to it down below, but it's done in an AXA style lock. The blade is in 14C28N, like I said, and you've got the weight on this, insane. This is one of the coolest things about this knife. One point let me look at it again 1.8 ounces not even two ounces this is absolutely the lightest knife i own because this came to me from them um aluminum backspacer aluminum thumb studs aluminum lock pin uh it is an axis style lock that i gotta tell you is just amazingly good it is probably the best the smoothest crossbar or axis style lock i've ever had even on much more expensive knives. Let's do a couple size comparisons here. We're gonna use the three that we always do, but we'll reverse it because the reflection. First knife is your Spider Co. PM2. You can see significantly smaller than the PM2. Uh, your next knife is the Benchmade 940, one of the most popular and well-known knives in the knife industry. Uh, you can see just completely dwarfed by it. Let's get the final knife out, which is always Chris Teresa Ben's a large 21, just a tiny knife visually, but I got to tell you, let's get this out of the way and then I'll tell you that even though it's small, this is an absolute powerhouse. This thing does stuff that I would expect to need a much larger knife for, and a lot of it has to do with the angle it's at and the blade shape. So this thing has cut more stuff and you can see the finish on it has held up well too it was a satin and typically satins get scratched 14c28 end blades in a satin let's see can i get it in here uh 14c28 end blades in a satin seem to do better as a satin than a lot of other steels it's almost like it doesn't scratch as badly but at any rate because this blade is nice and broad and is ground really thin and has got this nice radius to it and then the angle it drops down at it is very, very good at cutting. I have cut up so much cardboard with this and not had to resharpen it. I don't think I've had a knife that at this size cuts anywhere close to this. Uh, it's got a really, really nice look to it. It is ambidextrous with a reversible pocket clip. And like I said, with it being an axis lock, it's 100% ambidextrous. You don't have to worry about that. The G10 on it is done really, really well. And part of the reason it's so light is they did not use a full liner. There's just simply a spot where the lock mechanism is that has a steel liner and then an aluminum backspacer. So the weight distribution on this, right at that neutral point that I like, and I got to tell you, at the weight, you know what I'm saying, 1.8 ounces, under 2 ounces, you will forget this is in your pocket. The edge that came on it is still, the, it's still got the factory edge on it. It is still super sharp. And I cut up a ton of cardboard this morning. You can see it might be in the need of a small touch-up, maybe a quick strop. 14C28N holds an edge incredibly well and this seems to be heat treated very very well no sharp spots anywhere on this knife at all uh even the crown has been the crown of the 
the spine of the knife has been crowned, I should say. No sharp spots on that. Just feels so good in hand, even as a small knife. Like you saw, it's got a like under three inch blade. It's just at about six inches overall. Still a very comfortable grip on this, even if you have larger hands like me. The pocket clip is a deeper style pocket clip, deeper carry style pocket clip, and it does a very good job in and out of pocket, and it's not a hot spot. I carried this left-handed uh, in my left hand pocket for a while, I did flip the, uh, I did flip the pocket clip, and you can see the nice thing about it is, the pocket clip has is not just screwed into the G10, which I've had happen with knives, and that has a tendency to strip. There is a brass liner in there that it screws into, and it's been set down into the G10. It doesn't carry as deep as some other knives, but I will tell you this carries super well in your fifth pocket, your change pocket, your watch pocket, which is technically what it is. Uh, yeah, it just does a great job. What I said about the access lock, this is so smooth. It is frictionless. Even some of the much more expensive knives I've had come in with an access lock are not this smooth. That is really, really done super smooth. And I think it's because that that travel point on that where the where the lock pin slides across is pretty polished. And I don't know if they did it intentionally, but I got to say it makes it super, super smooth, even with this being fairly dirty. I have not cleaned this up for a couple of days. Nice and smooth. I'm going to tell you, I have not been this impressed with a knife in this size package ever. I think this is the best mini knife I have ever handled. I'm really, I like, I, I don't know if you guys can tell how over the top impressed I am with this knife. And it not only is it so easy to carry, you don't give up anything. I actually think that this cuts better than this one because this one has just a little bit longer blade. And I don't think that the drop is so dramatic. And so you lose a little bit on this knife being larger because the blade is a little bit shorter. And so that radius is much more compressed. I absolutely love it. Um, I, I cannot tell you how much you need to check one of these out. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link down below. Now, with every knife, there's always a couple things that I find wrong, and they're very minimal on this. So we will turn this around and talk about those right after you guys see an advertisement. Have you ever reached down to tie your shoes and broken a shoelace? Of course you have. Well, imagine you're out in the middle of nowhere and you've got to have those shoes to get back. If you're hiking or if you're in the military, there's a reason I always carried and had multiple sets of replacement shoelaces. Well, Today's sponsor is Tempered Trail. They are giving you guys some of the most durable laces that you're ever going to find. 550 pounds of strength in those laces. So check them out with the link down below. It saves you 10% at checkout. They are offering a wide variety of colors and lengths. So you just pick the length, you pick the color, and you throw them in your shoes. So big shout out to Tempered Trail for sponsoring this video. Guys, let's get back to the knife. So literally only like three things on this and one of them super minor. Um, the pocket clip, I think that the pocket clip could have been moved a little bit further back because while this does carry fairly deep, you could carry it deeper. And with it being in the fifth pocket, with the way I carry it being so small, I think that that would have just ever so slightly deeper, maybe move it over closer to the screw and bring it back just a little bit. Uh, the next thing is... I don't feel as though the jumping needed to be there at all. Like I would have been fine with that being smooth because the fact is while it's not bad jumping, the material on the scales just covers it. So you really don't gain anything by it being there. And I'm not a fan of, of jumping aesthetically. So it could have just went away. And the last thing, oh, two things, I'm sorry. Pocket clip could have had something to fill those holes. Uh, if you start getting dirt and grime and stuff in there, if you're like me and sometimes you'll carry a knife left-handed, but typically, typically carry it right-handed, you want to be able to flip that without having to clean those holes out. And then this could have done with a lanyard post instead of a lanyard hole. It's an attractive little knife, uh, especially in some of the other iterations. And just to, to get rid of that pocket clip would have maintained the lines. It could have easily just had a pin stuck in here and then just milled out a little spot in here and just put a pin in it. So... Just a couple little things. Like I said, very attractive little knife. I really like this. And with it, 1.8 ounces, 
I can only imagine what the carbon fiber version is like. It's just got to be almost non-existent. So just an amazing, amazing knife. It's, check this one out. Vosti really nailed it with this one. I just can't, I can't express like how impressed I am with a an under three inch blade doing the cutting that this does. So let's turn this around. We'll do some final thoughts and I'll send you guys out about your day. Yeah, guys, it is unusual for me to find a knife that I think is this close to perfect, um, especially in the size point. This thing is just incredible for the size, and it's not that expensive. And you're not giving up anything with the size or with the budget version of this at 60 bucks. So guys, that's it on this one. You know that there was an ad in the video. You know I have sponsors. Please check out the sponsor links down below. Coffee Brand Coffee and Temper Trail have a discount built in to the link. Speaking of discounts, coupon code of Crazy Shark, all one word, all lowercase, will save you 40% at Beyond EDC, 10% at Rosecraft Blades, 10% at Katsu Knives, and 10% at Fair and Forge Knifeworks. I'm trying to get more companies to add that discount code. Uh, I've got a bunch of affiliates down below, including an Amazon store link. You can take those links, use them for any of the knife shopping you need to do. Take the Amazon store link, pin it to your browser, use it for all your Amazon shopping. It definitely helps out and it doesn't cost you anything at checkout. There is a link to a public Discord down below. It says join the community. You can hang out there and just drop questions in the DMs. You guys can talk to each other and there's all kinds of places you can post. I've got a membership where I do giveaways, exclusive content. Uh, there's a premium sharpening tutorial series for the top tier guys in the memberships and a private Discord that's open to everyone. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section if it's your birthday. Happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.